Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. We are in the post-factions arc. Uh, we're going to be doing, unlike the end of Prophecies, there aren't additional quest lines really for us to do until Guild Wars Beyond. But instead, there are some challenge missions we can do. So we're going to go through and do some of the challenge missions. We're here at the first one in Dragon's Throat, which we got to right after the Viznu Square mission. It's down here in the sewers. Um, I apologize for videos being a little weird recently. Um, the sickness that my family had, I appear to have caught it. So, yeah, I feel like I'm, I feel like every other week I'm telling you that I'm sick, but you know that's just how it goes. People are people get sick this time of year for some reason. It's the end of winter. Um, but I apologize if that means videos are going to be a little weird over the next couple of days or even a week as I tend to have colds for quite a long time. I don't know. I don't know about you all, but I tend to be sick for a long time, but not be sick super often. Like I generally get sick like two or three times a year, but when I'm sick, I'm sick for like a week and a half. But anyway, let's talk to Captain Lofa and learn a little bit about this mission. The area has been declared a health hazard. Horde of afflicted creatures has taken up residence in the area, and the Emperor calls upon the brave Canthans to battle the foul beast. Do you seek further instructions? What must I do? It's very simple. You must destroy as many afflicted as you can. Keep in mind that this plague is extremely contagious. It's only a matter of time before it overcomes you. However, the more monsters you slay before this happens, the greater your glory and service to the Emperor. So yeah, we gotta go through and essentially kill as many afflicted as humanly possible before we eventually get overrun. Um... There's a mechanic in this that over time you start to take more health degen, very similar to like the storm in like uh, battle royale games or the ring or whatever it is in a specific battle royale. But let's get on here and, in here and give the mission a try. Um, I don't know how many times we're gonna try the missions. Probably just once, unless we fail like right away. But I doubt we will. Um, this one's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. You just kill as many afflicted as possible. And just kind of blast through as much as you can. Let's get our buddy out. Get ready to start. A whole bunch of afflicted spawning. I don't think this will be too bad. But I could be wrong. I have never... I think I only ever came to this mission for one reason. There are bosses in here that have elite skills. I think... This is where I capped one of my elite skills back in the day. But besides that, I have not been back here since then. But let's start. Kill as many afflicted as possible before the timer runs out. Kill an afflicted boss to gain bonus time. Simple. So we basically just run around this sewer area trying to kill as many as we can. And also they will respawn in areas we've been in. So we do occasionally have to loop back. But I'm going to try to walk around and also show off most of the area. So there's a boss that spawns, so we're going to run over to this boss and kill it. Um, to get more time. There's like a sewer head over here. So, besides the fact that it's sewage, this is pretty cool. I like this visual. Um... Yeah, there really isn't much to this mission, and this is kind of weird. The other missions give you, like, faction. So the other missions are on either the Kurzik or Luxon sides, um, and they give you faction related to whichever one you're doing. So they give you Kurzik for Kurzik, Luxon for Luxon. Um, but this one doesn't give you anything like that. It's literally just, like, I think gold is the only thing that this rewards. Um, it's a little weird. I'm not necessarily complaining, but it's a little weird to have the challenge mission and not really have a reward for doing the challenge. Whereas the other one has a reward. The other ones at least give you factions. And the other ones in the next game give, give you other unique rewards. This is cool. Ooh. 
Oof, a lot of damage. We are back on my assassin for these missions just because she has well-built heroes, so we'll actually be able to see most of the missions. I also don't know how long I'm going to go. I might not go into the... So the ring mechanic where the you lose HP and stuff like that doesn't start until 30 minutes in. So I'm not sure I actually want to be here for 30 whole minutes just to show that. Um, but we might just go around, kill some of the things, show off some of the areas, a little bit of lag there. So that was like a condemned... This is like a condemned town. We're like coming out of the sewers now. It's a pretty big area. I actually never respected how big this area was. This area for this mission is pretty huge. Um, quite large and in charge. Oh, some respawn right here. But yeah, I think I want to take a walk around and look at all the different areas, because this is probably a part of the game that not a lot of people have actually seen. There's some more, like, grass. Some more nature taking back over the city. Oh, I apologize if I'm a little sniffly. I'm trying to mute myself whenever I'm having any sneezing fits. Or such. But if I miss one, I apologize. There's a boss here. But yeah, this, um, the assassin boss that spawns here has shadow form, which is one of the most important elites in the game, at least in terms of, like, actual, like, the actual end game, how the end game is run. There's a lot of shadow form usage, so this is where I came to cap that skill many years ago. It's a very powerful skill. Essentially what it does is it makes it so you can't be the target of spells. And under certain situations, it's able to be permed. So that, combined with some other defensive stuff, makes you borderline uh, invulnerable to damage. So you can run off and solo stuff or tank stuff for long periods of time. This is cool. I like this. The grate with blue mist under it. We can't see everything. Some actual watering falling down on the pathway here. Maybe I should get out of the rain judgment, huh? Oh no, they killed my stone. They killed Legionnaire. I might unironically eventually die to this at some point just because I'm going to get too cocky and pull like half of the fucking map at once. Like right now. so that they can res up and This should be alright. There's not a lot of them left. Yeah. Holy heck. That dude just nuked me. Wow. Oh, there's a boss over there. I didn't notice the boss. <laughs> well, that was um, anticlimactic. I kind of expected to be able to go a lot longer than that. <laughs> I guess it does get quite a bit harder. That's that's a lot more challenging than I thought it'd be. I'm actually kind of happy about that, as silly as it sounds. We're going to go back through and we're going to go the other way this time.
We are gonna do it twice. We're gonna go the other way this time. We're gonna go up this way. So we can see the rest of the map. Pleasantly surprised. Now, am I only really surprised because I literally face-pulled, like, the entire world? Probably. And then proceeded to stand in AoE skills, so my healers probably had to waste a ton of their cooldowns on me? Probably. But still. It says on the wiki you can actually pull these guys before the mission actually starts. It doesn't help your score, but... Since our goal is to kind of get along to the other zones and see them... Being able to just kill what we can through the door before it opens will be nice. Yeah, so I think there's only one or two rooms we didn't see, so we're gonna go that way and see what we can see. And then if we fail again, I'm probably gonna come back on like a uh, shadow form build and just run around and show off the rest of the zones. I'm not gonna stand in the freaking. Ray this time. That Ellie boss messed us up. That's what was the real problem. The Ellie boss is doing over 100 damage a hit. Yeah, so let's go down this way. Some more, like, sewers. Oh, how big is this mission? Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. No? Okay. There's another gate there all over to somewhere. There's a gate over there. I think I'm gonna go to the right here. <laughs> I think as the mission goes on, more and more of the dudes actually just spawn. I think that's eventually what killed us, is we actually got relatively unlucky and we had, like, spawns spawn on top of us. Wait. These guys are coming down from up here. Does that mean that their gate up there is open? No, it doesn't look like it. No, it's okay. They're just coming in like that. Let's keep going this way. Ah, uh, here's, like, some water. This is pretty cool. You don't really see a lot of areas of large amounts of open water, at least water that you can stand in due to, you know, not being able to swim in this game like you can in the second one. Alright, let's go this way. Hopefully those spirits will keep everything. Oh boy. We might get wiped here. Yeah, I don't know why there's suddenly tons of these things, when earlier there were not that many. Okay, it looks like it's a dead end up here. Well, time to put on a build just so we can show this stuff off. I think, again, I stood on top of like a whole bunch of different spawn points, so that kind of did me in. Um, but just let me real quickly grab... Some. Where is it? There's the air magic. Am I blind? Yeah, I am. That's good enough. Um, and this. And we should be good. Alright. Put on our. Blindfold. 
just so we have a belt so we can run around. This is a sword skin I was actually really sad didn't make it over to Guild Wars 2. I would have loved if this was the legendary. I would have made 17 of them. I absolutely love this skin. This is probably my favorite skin in any MMO, and I don't know why. It's just so it's so basic, yet it's so clean. go this way and then we're gonna go up around here okay so it looks like wherever this goes is also wherever this goes just slightly different just hope nothing spawns on us there's a room up here too this is cool. This is like a some kind of manufacturing area, kind of. Yeah, here's like a little thing. This goes up into the room that connects them, it looks like. Let's go down to like the low part. No, that's just another spawn point. Okay. What's up here? like <laughs> yeah here's like I wonder if I can hoss up this I probably can oh the teleports in this game were so satisfying Here is, this is not the room we died in last time, I don't believe. Yes, no, this is, this is the room we died in last time, okay. Or the time before last, the first time. So that means the last place we have yet to see is this room down here. So let's go take a look at this room. This room is like a whole bunch of pipes. It is like a whole bunch of pipes interconnected. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. A lot of cool, relatively unique landscapes in this mission that probably very few players have ever seen. So, I don't know. I just wanted to do a run through and made sure I actually showed off everything. Let me load back up our PVE build. Make sure I put the right headpiece on for the next mission. All right, though. That's going to be the end of today's episode. I want to thank you for coming out. I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.